Hello! Good afternoon, Speed Gaming 2, and welcome to more Link to the Past Randomizer League. We're on the last day of week one of this great start to season six. Today, we got the first game. There's a double header today. That's right, day night double header between the perfect unadulterated gaming squad or the Pugs and the Rando Kids. We've got Dante and Andy for Team Pugs, and John Snoo and Vextifer going for the Rando Kids. I'm Radical Sniper 99, joined today by Nira Lightshine with Captain on the tracking. Hello, Nira. Hello. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a very good game. Both teams are very good at this game. Yeah, we uh, we've got two returning teams to the Invitational League from last season. The Pugs uh, and Rando Kids were both in this. It was Rando Toddlers last season. Uh, so, but yeah, two teams coming back. We do have that co-op AD going tonight or this afternoon. And of course, that does mean a bit of division. We got our bottom runners both going out of sank. <laughs> and our top runners both going for the uncle. Yep, and we got the cape uh, from Link's house. And I missed what that map check was. I think I saw a pendant on Hera, but I'm not 100% sure. And tier one free pull with vanilla. Uh, Andy accidentally killed the bush crab, though. And Uncle's chest is 20 rubies, and Uncle is the blue male. Nice early safety there. Yep. Uh, not going to ever complain about it. Yep, and peace of heart on Lumberjack. So, Aga 1 might not be required, but we might still... Oh, wait, no, it is required. It's all dungeons. What am I talking about? <laughs> Yeah, we will be doing everything today. Uh, so all the pendants, all the crystals, Aga 1, Aga 2, and of course, Ganon to end this one. Um, if you're unfamiliar with what co-op means, what that does mean is that Dante and Andy and Jon Snoo and Vexfer are in each a team call. What's happening is, is that each runner is kind of relaying information to their teammates saying, hey, I just found that flute at the mushroom spot or I got bombs in the drop down. And... Um, kind of building a route as a team together to do as much as they can as quickly as they can yeah i was about to say wait when did they get the flute <laughs> yeah that flute on the mushroom is pretty nice uh the three bombs in the in the drop down also helps yeah means they can do the entirety of kakariko also the inside or the outside of the dam is a piece of heart i missed what the out the inside was though yeah, I didn't notice anything all that helpful there. Uh, but that, yeah, that flute and finding that small key in the sink chest, though. Okay, uh, so that's what we missed out of sink. Yeah, no, I caught what that was originally, but I mi forgot to say it. <laughs> uh, it's a very, all very nice things to find. We did see that Lake Hylia Island is nothing today, so no worries there. Yep, also... Uh, looks like there is nothing in uh, Blind's Hut either. Oh, except that Moon Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> Dante is following close on Andy here with the uh, the CAC play. Uh, knowing that the flute was there at the Mushroom, like I really like this play from Dante saying, you know what, I need this flute. That is early mobility. And as much as I like the fact that John is making the Saha play to kind of get more info... I think there's some value in the fact that Dante's like, no, I want a flute. <laughs> I need to go faster. Yep. Uh, 20 rubies. There's the boat. Uh, Eastern's completable. <laughs> yeah, so that works out really nice for John. I gotta imagine he's going straight in Eastern Palace and does talk to Saha, intentional or not, to find out that Thieves Town is our green pendant. Yep. Uh, I missed what that was in the well, but uh, that was Quake in the well. But yeah, this is some pr very good drops today, that's for sure. Yeah, getting making sure we get bombs uh, available like that, among other things. Like, this is what you want to see. Oh, also, it was red mail in Quake inside of the well. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're like, no matter, Easy your, armor. Yeah, no matter your skill level, you're never going to turn down red mail. 
<laughs> not especially if it's not something you have to go out of your way for. And there's the single arrow <laughs> in the chicken hut. <laughs> yeah, our runners though, they're they're skilled enough at this game that the like yeah, Eastern's out of logic, but they don't care about that. They could do probably the they could probably do the dark rooms in Eastern blindfolded. So just uh, the bugs kind of going over each other's steps right now. Vex, the first out of Kakariko, going to give us the library in the race game. Yep, and the second chest in uh, that looked like a piece of heart. Um, in Eastern was the was a compass. That was a fire rod at the library, by the way. So we definitely need those boots sooner rather than later. Yep. Yeah, I couldn't tell. It looked like a piece of heart. But they literally walked in and walked right back out. <laughs> yeah, I had to catch that on replay myself. Um, but Dante down here at Mini Moldorm Cave. Uh, Looks like Andy is working up the old man rescue right now. Yep. Oh, that mini Moldorm. More like mini troll dorm. Ah, there we go. And this will be 10 arrows, the power glove, single ruby. There's our first sword and a piece of heart. And a piece of heart on desert ledge. Yeah, and I like this play from Vex being able to say, you know, let me take that flute and at least knock out some of this other stuff where John is just really focusing in on this Eastern. We just found the second bow. It was on the old man. And that's going to be really quick to kind of push uh, Team Pugs towards Eastern and Saha. I don't think either of them gets necessarily silvers, though, before killing off Armos. If they can find a glove. Yeah. Also, if I don't find a glove, like I expect Saha for Andy or Dante, and then going into Eastern, and they'll both have silvers for Armos then at that rate. Yeah. Also, uh, Hookshot and Ice Rod Cave. Well, there's Death Mountain and a lot of it. Yeah. What? Oh, and there was a glove in Mini Moldrum Cave. Thanks, Walkix. I missed that one for a sec. Wait, I thought I called that. Uh, I missed it. I must have missed hearing, hearing you say it. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> no worries. Uh, but yeah, uh, well, there's a lot going on right now. So, and there goes one of the, there goes the wrong Igor in Eastern, and oh, John takes a death. Yeah, unfortunate. It can, it can get hectic very fast in that room. But uh, Vex did find their glove and their sword in Mini Moldorm Cave, while Andy just got their hook, his hook shot. Yeah, and Dante's heading over to uh, do that Death Mountain check, so I have to imagine Andy's probably going to work his way to Eastern. Uh, nope, he went well, to... Well, to get yeah. his glove and sword. Yeah, he's... Like, Andy might go do uh, Eastern, definitely, after he gets the sword and a bow. Or the yeah, he's not gonna. His goal is not to follow uh, Dante here up the mountain, probably. No, but although I gotta say, we are nearing Aga, really. Oh yeah, we're running out of checks quickly, but we also have uh, seven checks. Right there's Bombos. There's the mirror that gives us Hera. Yeah, and if I'm Dante, stay up the mountain. If I and if I'm Andy, I'm going right to Eastern at this point. Yep. Like, he's got the equipment. I don't see any reason not to go after Eastern Palace. There's Although there's the myths. Uh, Aga 1 may not be required right away. If no. We can, if we can find the hammer, we have... Well, our runners can do all sorts of stuff. Aga 1 is basically can be put off till the end of the game now. <laughs> Our runners are more than capable of doing like uh, bomb jumps and stuff across rivers.
and Floating Island. Oh, uh, was that the Cane of Burna? I uh, I'm sorry, I, I did miss that. I couldn't tell if that was blue or red. I, I think that was was uh, I think that was Samaria. No, chat's saying it's Burna. Oh, okay. This is why I have to usually go up a little higher on these things to see them. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, that finding the Titan Smiths and the mirror, I'm sure Andy's glad that uh, one of them went up the mountain. <laughs> but, yeah, you were right. Andy would not decided not to do uh, Sarsaparilla's hut. He went right into Eastern. Yeah, and it makes a lot of sense. You have no reason to check out, um, you know... Saha with that glove you can't anticipate like if you feel comfortable with your equipment yeah. and like these four runners should feel plenty comfy with what they've got you know what's your play it's i've got a glove it's faster to just go to into eastern and then go to saha than it is saha into eastern oh yeah and this is a pendant but this is an all dungeon seed so we still got to do it anyway so if you got if you can complete it you might as well and so far, there was nothing inside of um, Super Bunny Cave. But Jon Snow just got their hook shot. All yeah, he'll day. be heading... I gotta imagine, like, unless he's heading straight back for um, Eastern Palace, like, I don't see any reason he'd want to go do that, so it's probably like... Okay, glove and sword for Jon, but after that, I gotta think he follows Vex. Yeah, also to cut you off really quick, uh, Bombos to get into Turtle Rock. Twenty rubies. So far, nothing inside of Hookshot. There's our Master Sword. Master Sword is a good find. Teams are uh, Dante and Andy for uh, the, the Pugs. And Jon Snow and Vextoffer for uh, uh, rando kids. Sorry, chat was asking. But Dante, yeah, Dante found the Master Sword. Wait, did Andy find one too? Or I don't believe so. Okay. Um. Yeah, just understand uh, if there's anything with the tracking going on. Um, Captain is running solo here with four uh, screens. It is going to be a busy day, and we really appreciate Captain doing oh, yeah. what he's doing today. Also, Vex did find a second sword. Yep, doing the Heropot, too, on Dante's side. It is in logic. The big chest is in logic. He did find the big key. That is not something you want to see, though, is that small key. But we do like seeing items. Oh, yeah. I think the other item was in the was already found, too. I don't think it was anything. Meanwhile, Andy is coming up on his Armos fight. Fort Sword... Oh, Dante did do, uh, or, or, uh, Vex. Vex did do, uh, that. Okay. Yeah, we think that Vex's second sword was on Agena. Oh. Okay, so we know where three swords are then. And the Andy brought down, uh, Armos Knights in a blink of an eye. Nope, there's the second item in, uh, in Hera. Yeah, and that's first dungeon clears for both. Uh, for both members of the Pugs. So very quickly, uh, two dungeons down for the Pugs. Meanwhile, uh, Snoo is back in Eastern, and Vex is working through Dark Death Mountain. And it does look like we do have a second tracker. Thank you for joining us today, Relkin. Yeah, thank you, Relkin. And Dante is going into dark de or into dark world right now. 
There is there is another dungeon that they that he can complete right now, and that is Thieves Town. Yeah, green pendant thieves. We got pendant TR, and then it's a five sixes at pod and ice. Yep. And John Snoo just brought down the Armos as well. Okay, we got back of the uh, back of the def or back of the castle. Three bombs, shovel, and a heart container. Also, chess game was just a piece of heart. So vanilla. Yep, there's our th Vex just found tempered, so very nice find. You don't like you're never gonna turn down tempered sword. Nope. I mean, Andy's got silvers, and even still, that's well worth it. There's our ice rod. Yep, still needing the boots for the fire rod. And yeah, Dante's gonna work through Village of Outcast here, get as much done as he can. Um, whereas oh. Andy is going to get his mitts and mirror. I imagine he'll skip, uh, well, no, there's no reason for him to go do Hera. It's a go modable dungeon. Uh, Snoo's given us new information here, though, with the front of escape. Yep. Snoo also got a sword. Andy's about to get his Titan's mitts, though. Yeah, John got his first sword out of um, Mini Moldorm Cave when he got his glove. I could have sworn there was something else inside of uh, Paradox Cave, but maybe I was wrong. Uh, mirror and mitts, I think, were the only two. Okay. Oh, no, Bombos, too. Oh, Bombos, okay. I could have sworn there was a fourth item. That's why I think I'm thinking of Hookshot Cave. Uh, we got the third check in Thieves Town being a big key. We, I think we've found two items in Thieves Town so far. There's our third. Yeah, and realistically, if the last item is in the big chest, um, like Andy can wait to come in here for Hammer. Yep. Of course, like, and hammer cannot be in big chest because we need the hammer there. But the small key can be. <laughs> oh, Vex trying to run around that chest and does unfortunately get uh, has his bomb caused to fall down into the pit. Yeah, at least it's not. Uh falling through the center of Trolldorm's platform, though. And there's Andy getting his ten or his Master Sword. Jon Snow getting his shovel and heart container and three bombs, though. Yeah, Jon's gonna have to head up the mountain next. Um, <clears throat> no reason for that. Anything else at this point for him. He's checking the shovel. We yeah, I was thinking them. maybe you can merge that check with, like, um, a smith chain. Well, it's a brand new check, too. We haven't seen the shovel yet. Well, and that's my point, is, like, I don't know if I'm as big a fan of putting this off as a solo check here for John, as much as I think the plan for Pugs here is, like, Andy's probably going to circumvent there's doing anything in Boo and go straight for the smith chain. There's our fourth sword. Sorry. But yeah, no, I get your point. And oh, Agina was not our sword. Okay. Then. It was that Vex actually got the sword off the shovel. Okay, that makes sense. We are getting a look at Hobo, though. We do have Silvers, folks. Uh, one bow on the old man, one bow uh, in Saha's closet. Yep. And so Dante got Old Man Bow, John got Saha Bow, Vex got Old Man Bow, and he's got both. Yep, John Snoo just got 300 rubies off the hobo.
dig spot is so far nothing. That's just a shield. Ooh, there's our first bottle. And blind goes down on Dante's side with three bombs. Piece of heart. Oof. And 20 rubies. So nothing of importance in Waterfall Cave. What is Andy doing? Oh, okay. Also, Smiths are three bombs. We're going to look at Scamfish, though. And we're also looking at Desert. Scamfish is a scam. Desert, though, holding the map at the same time Skull Woods gave us a map. And the last check is the big key. Well, of course, it has to be. What am I talking about? Couldn't be anything else. 25, and it looked like 20 rubies on Cave 45. Let's see what we got in the desert big chest today. Is it going to be a fire source or is it is it going to be the boots? What is it going to be? And three bombs on Stumpy. And it's the compass. Blech. Who wants the compass? Compass and Skull Woods too. And we have the small key to Skull Woods there. Yes, thank you again to our trackers too. Sick Kid had 20 rubies. Skull Woods' other check was the big key. Okay, we're going to look at purple chest and big chest. And that's half magic in Skull Woods. And 10 arrows in the purple chest. John Snoo is about to go get his Bombos mitt, his mirror, and his Titan's mitts. Still needing that hammer, though. And cave and bumper ledge is just uh, three bombs. We're going to get a look at Kate, uh, Graveyard Ledge here in just a second, too. Oh, I missed that before, but the Bloomerang was there. Oh, we're going to look at Johnny Two Bombs. Johnny Two Bombs is 50 rubies. Uh, Vex is going to get his Ice Rod. 10 arrows, 10 arrows, 20 rubies, and 20 rubies. Graveyard Ledge will know in just a second what it is. Everybody's got their Ice Rods, though. But at uh, Johnny, P and there's our hammer. That just opened up a lot. Well, I'm sure Andy is very happy to know about that. Uh, to know about the hammer, though. We are going to get a look at uh, at the dig spot, though, on uh, Dante's side here in just a moment, most likely. Nice splash deletion on Andy's side. Oh no, he lost... Oh, there we go. He got it. 
And he, of course, got the Tempered Sword off the dig game. Or off the dig spot. Get his, temp get his Tempered Sword. Missed what that was. I think that was Quake to get into Meyer. Oh, this is new checks for the for uh, Andy and Dante right here. Neither of them have been in the desert or castle. Oh, the flippers were on Pyramid Ledge. What? So it would like that's a weird logic to be able to to for the flippers. You needed the hammer off graveyard ledge to get to the flippers on uh, on pyramid ledge. Yeah, we still need the a fire source. Either like we know where one is right now. Uh, we need the boots and we need the flippers. Andy's gonna go grab his bottle here off his checkerboard cave. Oh, I know the flippers are found. They just haven't grabbed them yet. No, uh, boots are locking the fire rod right now. With that, uh, with those flippers, though, that gives us access to Swamp and Ice Palace in Logic. And with the Hammer, we can complete both those in Logic, too. And he's getting his hammer right now. Well, Diant, he's getting his sick hit check, which is just 20 rubies. Okay, where are we going now? Are we going to Swamp? Yes, we are. Most likely. Well, we're going to get the flippers first. Andy is going south as well. John Snoo, though, just got his hammer, though. Dante is going to pod, by the looks of it. Andy is going to go to swamp. 
Yeah, good division there coming up again. Welcome back. <laughs> See, we're still tied up on the dungeon front. Yep. Well, yeah, Dante is getting his flippers because you're not going to turn those down when you need to do all dungeons. He's going to go. Yeah, and I think all. he's going to go tie in pod is what I'm saying. I would uh, I would think either he's he might mirror and flute to pod if that's the plan. Yeah, definitely. And three bombs we already knew on the blacksmiths. We're going to look a new check, though. Oh, John Snoo. We're going to go look at uh, Catfish. Yeah, it looks like Dante's actually going to work his way up there as well. Unfortunately, he does not have Zora money at this point. Yeah, Although neither know. does John. Do we know what it is? Yeah, we already know that uh, okay. Zora's 20 rubies. And there's our Cane of Samaria. Well, uh... Dante, when he goes and checks, uh, oh, he's going to abandon Catfish. Uh, Dante, oh, you're farming Zora money really quick. Yeah, he's close yeah. enough. Yeah, he doesn't know. And that realistically, he can leave uh, Andy here to go do to finish out Swamp and then put him into Ice Palace. Yeah. Yep, he knows about the Cane of Samaria, which is a required item. He's also farming pod money now, too. To be able to get Zora and uh, pod, you need 110 rubies. Or 610. Did Andy check Catfish? Because, uh... Dante just got, got enough to do Zora and Catfish, or Zora and Pod when he do, does... Uh, it could catfish. be that he's aware of a 50. Yeah, well, that's what's on that's what's on Catfish is 50. We're also getting a look at Pod on John's side now. Yeah, big question here is, are we going to start finding that fire? Because we still are lampless and bootsless for Fire Rod. Yep. If Fire Rod wasn't required, our, like a fire source that wasn't required, our runners could easily do without it. But You say easily, I say won't turn their, their uh, nose up at. Yeah. Well, they also, you, there is no matter what, you do need a lamp or fire source in pop GT no matter what. And we are already got, gone to Argus on Andy's side. And the check in pod right here is a key for a key. We also got, uh, Hype Cave not giving us, uh, anything today and another small key there's three bombs on argus yeah chat's bringing up walking is good for your health i imagine fighting the the forces of darkness is also uh, not fighting them is also good for your health So Andy has finished up Swamp. Not going to go back in. I don't know if there was anything left on that left side, but he's not really too worried about it. And I like this. Going to go just straight for Ice Palace. Makes the most sense for him. Yeah. Also, I think there was one item left. They found. I know they found the map. Okay. The map or the compass. They found one of those two. I just can't remember which one. It's faster to walk to, to go flute to eight than it is to walk to Ice Palace from a pod or swamp. I would think so. As well, like I think the flute would have been faster, but at this point, you know, minor optimization. I think without the boots, especially, it might have been faster. Uh, Dante is going to be into pod, but is grabbing his silvers real quick here. 
I don't blame him. He never turned down silver arrows. Especially for Vitreous. And there's Ether. Yeah, so we are boots from uh, no mode. Yep. So far, uh, there's magic powder. And Andy's gonna play this for the uh, the switch hit. And small key in the big key chest. And realistically, right now, the Pugs are just a little bit ahead. Um, Andy's got a little bit more knowledge, um, and they're just looking for that those boots, whereas the checks from the Rando kids is kind of just tailing behind here. Yep. Like, even the extra info that John has here in Pod, uh, Dante will have momentarily. I think what we would really need to see here is that extra item in Swamp that we know Andy left behind is the boots. Yeah. If they, if the boots are in Ice Palace, then that's a huge find. And that big chest in the, um, in Pod was just a piece of art. I think they found all the items in Pod too. Also, uh, John's on Butter Sword. Indeed, he is. I just and he it. skipped out on silvers, for now. No, he didn't. No, he, did. he has silvers. No, sorry, I was reading a tracker, not what I, arrows he was using. I was gonna say I could have seen him do it. <laughs> yep, and there's Vex getting their cane of Samaria. And there's there the boots the for boots. go mode. Yep. And that's going to cause Dante to skip most of pod. Yep. The uh, this the uh this is a this is bad for uh rando kids. So yeah, Andy's just gonna <clears throat> take out Cold Stare here, pretty standard fight, go get his Fire Rod, and then it's just dungeon diving for the yeah. Pugs at this point. Um, Dante's gonna get to save some time here in Palace of Darkness, given his knowledge of the uh, of everything else. Yep. And there goes Cold Stare on Andy's side. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. for Dante at this point, it's definitely going to be, you know, finish out, pod, flute, do swamp, get your Samaria, go to ice, get your boots, and then just follow Andy. Yep. For um, Andy's pretty much able to play this as, you know, he's going to be the one mapping out dungeons a lot more at this rate, and Dante's going to be taking that into account. Yep. Yeah, you get your cane of Samaria so you can skip uh, Ice Palace. That's the reason why you grab that. Isn't it? What was that? Sorry? You grab the cane of Samaria from Swamp before, so you can skip most of Ice Palace first. Isn't that um, what, that's what you would do? Yeah, I mean there's not a lot on right side so even... Like, even if you just did an Ice Palace Bomb Jump style, like, it wouldn't hurt you that much. True. Though I still like the fact that uh, being able to do spec Eclipse, you can skip that uh, small key next to Argus if you're in go mode. Because you can just steal that one key. Uh, that key steal is actually not that fast. Um, that key is actually uh, extra... 
extra couple of screen transitions, and screen transitions by definition are actually slower. Okay. And Argus goes down on Vex's side, though John's going to be finding their boots very shortly here. Yeah, and no surprise here. I know John really is, uh, he enjoys hitting Ice Palace a little bit earlier. So I'm not shocked to see him kind of rush this. I think it would have been a good play for Vex to be the one here, but um, just because it's so close to where he was, but I guess he'll probably hit up, I don't know, Meyer? No, he can't. He needs that Ether Medallion still. Yep. Also, yeah, I think John's the one I saw a while back do... Uh, yeah, there's Ether right there. Um, do uh, Ace Palace on, like, four hearts. <laughs> yep, there's Andy just plowing right through Thieves Town right now. Dante, or how do you say his name? Is it Dante or Dom? Dante. Okay. Uh, right now is plowing right through uh, Helmasaur. Yeah, a really nice uh, pod basement here from Dante. Just across oh. the board, really strong play. Yeah, that butter in the dark. That butter sword does help too. Not as I mean, much, not as much not, as Humber does. I mean, honestly, if it wasn't for the fact he found it, he probably skips it. Like, oh, I don't yeah. see Andy picking it up. Um, there's really just no purpose to that sword at this point for either of them. Oh yeah, no, definitely not. Yeah, there's not enough of a significant damage increase to be using butter sword. No, and all four of these runners are very well practiced with their uh, Ganons, so like the adv advantage of having butter is minimal at best. Yep. Even I'm proficient enough that butter sword doesn't make enough of a difference. <laughs> Nowhere near these guys level, but and John's about to get their boots. Yeah, zero cycle Trinex is so clean. Did John not grab his ice rod yet? No, he's been kind of avoiding the checks that Vex has done, so he hasn't gone into Vu yet. I actually, like, I think there's some good, like, divergence here for Team Rando Kids. It's just unfortunate that the divergence has not hit the the route as strong as the pug side. Yep. Also, Andy is in go mode now. Yep. Andy officially into go. Yep. Very well done on their part. Yep. Dant Dante going to be getting their uh, their cane of Samaria and just heading straight to Argus. John Snoo, though, is still checking... Oh, he just got his first bottle. Uh, still checking all of Ice Palace, because he he is missing that cane of Maria. Well, no, oh, uh, Vex has oh. it, and would have communicated that presence to him. Um, oh, they went over the... Wait. No. What are they... What are they missing that John is still searching for? Uh... That is a good question. <laughs> Because they like they know where everything is. Did, oh wait, do they not know where Fire Rod is? No, oh, I, I no, think they have to. Ha one of them had to have got a Fire Rod. I, I'm wondering if they haven't. Because like neither because they know where everything is. Otherwise, Fire Rod is on Library Ledge. Yeah, they could still for have forgotten where Fire Rod is. 
that was a very early check they had to do. Yeah, and that's the thing. I do recall Vex scouting the library because his was the stream that I saw check it. So they should know they're in go. So I'm curious what those extra checks were. Could have just been a mixed communication. Um, I, I will say it's very easy, you know, as the person who didn't see it necessarily to forget its existence. Also, so for John, that could have been a moment where he was just like, I didn't see it. And, you know, as much as Vex probably said it, or, you know, it's possible that there was a, a slight miscommunication there. Yeah, also Lamp on Mothula. Bravo, game. Bravo. So, yep. Uh, going to be, like, at least the dark rooms are no longer a thing. <laughs> Our runners yep. don't, don't need to worry about that, but still. And here's the thing. At this point, you know, Andy is going to continue to just plow ahead. Um, you know, he's got the fire easy mire here. Going to give that information over to Dancy when he gets to it. Yep. I'm sure as as comfortable as our runners are with dark rooms, I'm sure they're like not having to worry about that. The Turtle Rock dark room is still something nice. Uh, Turtle Rock's not too bad. I, if I had to guess a, a point where I'd want lamp, it's more mire. <laughs> um, the low percent mire is really where it's going to show it the best. TR is, how, how do I put this? Um, TR is easy if you know the route. And uh it, yeah it's just hold a direction yeah so no it's this is like it helps for meyer but that's about it yeah meyer and uh back of and uh dark cross are the dark rooms i still struggle with and this is a hover meyer there we go andy get the big key on the bridge and he is just going to hover across this bridge here Meanwhile, yep. Dante is working and gets his ether medallion. John's got his fire rod. Okay, so Team Rando Kids is now in knowledge of go mode. They just need to move it. Uh, unfortunately, I think John's got, what, three dungeons done. Uh, this is Vex's fourth, where yep. it's currently five and four for Team Pugs. So they're just kind of trailing dungeons here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, that is dungeon number four. Yeah, I believe John has pod. Yeah, so. he did. They, 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 for some reason, I didn't see pod was marked off for some reason. But Vex, the tracker eats clicks. It happens. <laughs> Vex, Vex, why are you not doing Eastern? He wants his boots first. Oh, okay. Uh, Boots definitely helps in Eastern Palace. Eastern Palace is a very linear dungeon. You get a lot of good dash lines in that dungeon. You can see Vex saying, you know what, I need my boots ASAP. True. Yeah, they give you the boots in vanilla game after you do Eastern. No, I am not salty about that still. <laughs> okay, maybe a little. But uh, Andy basically beat uh, Meyer in the time it took us to finish a sentence. <laughs> yeah, nice easy Meyer there with the uh, the God Meyer open up and the Hover God Meyer. Yeah. Any who can do uh, can do Hover, like massive props to you. It's not an easy trick to do. And Vex getting their ether. I find it funny that uh, our no mode items were our last two we needed to get to go into go mode, or to get their last item to get to get into go mode was to was in Ice Palace. There's John. Yeah, very nice ice. ice. Yeah, and there's John, John finishing out. Yep. Andy, of course, knowing where the big key in the desert is, it's being vanilla today. Also, I find it a little funny that both 
players on the top screen are the ones with half magic and the ones on the bottom screen are going without. Yeah, no reason to pick it up at this point. So, nope. I do. I, I like this discussion though, and going on in chat about boots versus no boots for Eastern Palace. I am not sure myself because that is a lot of extra screen transitions just to get to Eastern now. Um, so I can see the point of saying, you know, this might not have been the best play for uh, for Vex to leave, knowing where Go Mode is. Unless we missed him doing Armos nights, but I don't think we did. No, we didn't. He hadn't done it earlier, and he just beard and fluted away. Okay. So I'm not crazy. Well, I am crazy, but that's besides the point. <laughs> Andy, you going to go ahead and do Land Mole here? Silver Arrow, one, one cycle. And Landmole goes down, giving us five rubies. Ew. <laughs> Why can't this be like the later games where we can skip the items that the bosses drop? Dante almost got grabbed by the wall master there, though. Andy working his way back for his last non-mountain dungeon. Uh, he's just got to take down Helmosaur here. Uh, Big Key, I believe, was in the back, so he's got a little bit of work to do here, but nothing too terrible. Meanwhile, Vex does get through Ice Palace, John working through Thieves, um, and Dante coming up on the Moth, where he will also get that lamp. Yep. Yeah, the... Um, the, I, the, <clears throat> the Big Key and... And Pod was the uh, first chest in the Dark Maze. And Mafia goes down. No, Dante did... Uh, oh wait, did he do... Uh, no, he, I, no, he did not do Eastern. Yeah, Dante does have to go back for Eastern. So it looks like both teams kind of playing to have their boots available for for Armos. Well, to be fair too, uh, Eastern like they know from their their teammate that the uh, there was nothing required in there. Yeah, but it's the fact that you're there. Yeah, is the big no. deal. Like. Now, can Dante do hovers is the question. Probably. <laughs> I was curious if we were going to see the... the hammer yump from Andy still, but yeah, he is going to do this instead of going through the dark maze. Save or instead of going through the door at the top. Yeah, it saves a key. He can go straight to Helmus to work from here. Actually, I was going to say, Dante famously did hover. Yeah, I, I'm still learning all, who can do what and everything. Yep, there he goes. And there goes Jon Snow getting his ice rod. Yep, and it made a lot of sense for Jon to get just do it after Thieves. Oh, yeah. But yeah, no, uh, well, a lot of people know Andy for the hover. Uh, Dante, believe, did it during the... 2020 main tournament? 2021 main tournament? Yeah, 
in actually, I believe, was the finals. So, yeah. Nice spooky action done by Dante as well. Yeah, getting both of those spookies. Uh, meanwhile, Andy goes through the dark, that dark turtle room. Vex heading towards Meyer. He will provide that information for John. John going for Swamp Palace now. Yep. And Dante brings down Vitreus. Yeah, all runners got silvers. They've got tempered sword or better. I mean, this is ideal equipment for everybody. Yep. Dante is though the only one one of our runners with uh with red mail though. There's the cane of Samaria for John. Yep, there's go mode for John. So everybody, all of our runners are in go mode at this point. Andy will be our first runner in to Turtle Rock. Yep, John, go ahead and do the spec eclipse. Yeah, and this is one of those dream scenarios where you can do Tower Hera before going into GT. Yeah, nice uh, sub-minute dungeon coming up for Hera. <clears throat> silver one cycle and we of course know it's bombos to get into into turtle rock now are the how are the keys gonna lay out are they gonna be good to us today Dante making his return trip over to Eastern to get his final non-mountain dungeon. Of course, besides Aga Tower. Yep. Though with Tempered slash Butter Sword, uh, Aga Tower is going to be a cinch. Doesn't get much faster, honestly. Um, a lot of that dungeon is just knowing proper movement. Hey, look, a fetch quest. <laughs> Long after we don't need it. Like a lot of the uh, Aga Tower strategies are really just dependent upon do you have X or better, not do you need butter kind of stuff. Yeah. So like there are some optimizations you can get, but overall not huge. There's the big key. So yeah, that's a very nice TR layout. Yep, means we can basically steal the the pokey key and go straight to Trinex. If I remember, if I got my key logic correct. Yeah, we'll have a key here in Chomps. We'll steal the key off of the pokey, and then we'll just hope to not get 4%. Four percented. Uh, yeah, where the last two keys are in the lava chest and big chest. Oh. There's a four percent chance that the two remaining small keys could be there and there. Oh. Yeah, this is the first time I've heard it be called that. That's why I was confused. Andy, going ahead and grab some more arrows. Might as well. Kind yeah, he was running a bit low. Yep. Don't know if you're going to have to do Armos Knights on ice or not. Well, there's also some good arrow opportunities. And, like, realistically, Andy's got some distance between himself and Dante right now. So yeah. he'll get probably some of those arrow pots in GT. 
There we go. John got the hover too. Yeah. Andy, Andy is. is good. Good. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I've heard arguments that this can be faster. Um, I actually saw this argument come up against uh, a, a runner in the casual boots tourney I, I recently played and said that if this is the key, and it is a key, um, like the time loss is minimal and there's a decent enough chance that the key is there or crystal roller. And yeah. being able to skip laser bridge is more valuable. I don't know if I subscribe to the theory, but I have heard it presented. Yeah, it turned out to be a good uh, play on Andy's part because there was the compass right there. Yeah, so like he's able to skip all of Laser Bridge, and you know that's depending on where that small key is on Laser Bridge. It could be better, it could be worse. Meanwhile, Cabbages and Dante are not getting along. Three hearts <laughs> yeah. lost just like that. Um, Vex finishing his Eastern play. Uh, looks like John's just John does have Meyer done now, so that's good. Uh, but he still also has Desert. He's unfortunately a little behind right now. Um, Vex is a is like Vex is behind Dante, the Eastern Kill. Uh, John has Desert, and then has the same two dungeons that Andy doesn't. So. Yep. Andy is also about to start the Trinax fight. Nice invincibility frames there, too, on Andy's part. Yeah, it looks like Andy did get the laser bridge key as well. <laughs> <laughs> Giving all the info to Dancy. Uh, Andy usually doesn't make those mistakes. It happens. Yeah, and I think Chad's got it right here, is that this is a scout for Dante being able to say, you know, can he skip Pokey Key? He couldn't, could he? What? No, he can. Um, what what okay. Dante can do here is he can get the small key and the big key on the right side, get the chomp key, skip the Pokey Key, get big chest and the laser bridge key, and he might actually break out better than... Okay doing the other way also andy just killed trainix um these are little things that like the edge that andy has right now in terms of time over his teammate is then things he can micro optimize for dante yeah sorry for the questions like i like like the I'm still not used to co-op stuff. <laughs> and that's the thing. Co-op is a very different mentality. You know, we don't talk about how this kind of plays out, but there are many different pieces to this mode that are not, you know, it's a push and pull of when do you follow? When do you, when do you diverge? You know, how much extra do I do for my teammate here? Yeah. Also, like, should we get, start getting numbers from chat? I mean, if people want to, um, Dante's going to have to be a little bit careful here, down to a heart and a half. Yeah. Also, my, my guess on the GT big key is 22. And he had the magic powder. Okay, people, it's 1 to 22, not... <laughs> we aren't taking anything higher than 22, people. I don't know. I like the imaginary number four I. <laughs> I like the I like some of these numbers coming in. That's for sure. <laughs> I won't. And yeah, so Dante skipped that. Uh, Dante skipped the pokey key. He is getting the big chest. Meanwhile, Snoo and Vex both on the mountain. Did Snoo beat Landmolus? I thought he did. Yeah, he did. Okay. He went straight into the back of desert through the front. Oh, wait, he didn't have the big key. That's why he did the through the front. 
small and key on the, the torch. torch. Yep, one. I think Andy will likely go for a uh, Dark Magician strategy here, but like I don't see this being a rando rush or anything like that. This feels like a um, a DM strat to cover as much ground as possible before, before Dante gets in here. Yeah. Three, nothing, four, the small key. There's a, a single... And that's a really bad DM room. Not even a single key in DM room. Yeah. Up to five is nothing. Six, five rubies. Seven, small key. So even if he went dark magician room, he would have been able to get. He would have been able to get continue on. Ah, uh, you mean hope room? Yeah. Oh, unfortunately, that Samaria block just missed by a little bit. Yeah, if it turns out to be on right side, uh, the Andy and uh, Dante are going to be in good shape. I mean, either way right now, it's looking pretty good. Um, unfortunately for rando kids, they're like just about on top of each other. Enough separation to still be okay. But yeah, this is like the distance here for pugs. Like this is going to be Dante's last main dungeon and be able to go into GT Aga Tower. And yeah, Andy's finished with the 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 those first 11 checks. So he's going to go full left and he'll just tell Dante, "Follow me." Yep. Nice shooting right through here by Andy's part. And 12 is 300 rubies. Thanks for the rubies game. We could have used those earlier. Just a reminder, this is a very busy day in uh, the Rando League for especially invitational races getting restreamed. Uh, there's pretty much a, a new race starting almost every hour today. So, after this one, there are more races still going on or to come. There's the sand cart. And we found all four of our bottles now. Yeah, two bottles in random room. Thanks, game. Yeah. One of them being a fairy, one of them being a blue goo. Nice boomerang shot, though, by Dante there. Yeah, I'd be jealous of my teammate if I didn't have a boomerang here. Yeah. Boom strats are great. <laughs> yeah, we're up to 18 checks now in GT. This is the 18th right here, I mean. Wow. <laughs> and Ice Armos is going to go down in just a second here. Nineteen is fifty rubies. Twenty is the book. Twenty-two. <laughs> Yep, we've got a full tower room seat here today, and yeah, Auntie and Dandy, 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 Dante, pretty much right on top of each other at this point. Yep, and I, I was right. I won the lottery. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure Dante's going to be very glad to to be entering GT at the same time that Andy found that out. Yeah, there's some arguments to be made that maybe Dante should have been in Tile Room first because of how much further ahead Andy was. But yeah. it's but if it's, it's if not it a big deal a, either way. If it was an Ice Armos, it made sense. Because that was a, that would be a significant time sink they'd have to do again. He'd have to do again. 
but they're basically getting their big key just within seconds of each other. Also, yeah, and this is a race your teammate scenario. We also seem to have lost connection on Rando Kids. Dante using that half magic. He's got t oh, he's gonna actually hit the safety room. Not a bad choice. Yeah, I mean he was already at, he already came in with a low health situation, uh, and unfortunately a lot of the first rooms of this climb always have a uh, trap damage instead of you know stuff that his red mail is actually an advantage for. I Yep, there goes uh, Andy clearing out Land Mole 2. And Dante right behind him on that one. But yeah, the uh, we're just getting the the climb. We're almost to land mold or the troll dorm too right now. Both Andy and Dante are seconds apart. Andy, did he just do a hover or a bounce off? Yep. Nope, board? that was a hover. Okay. And actually, you can tell. I think. Um, usually if you get the Moldorm 2 hover, you can actually... Yeah, the bumper in, uh, the last, the last conveyor room actually starts infinitely bouncing. Oh. Yep. Interesting. Nice triple, though, there on uh, Dante's side. There we go. 3-3. Three, three. And all both of our uh, runners here for Pugs need to do is remember not to drop into Ganon. Andy remembers? Yep. I forgot for a second there. Hey, they're both going to get health refills, too, at least. I'm sure Andy also reminded Dante about it. Thank you. 
But yeah, uh, we are just about to Aga 1. Yep, just a couple of floors left here in Aga Tower for Andy and Dante. Uh, Andy down to six silver arrows, but this is plenty. Oh yeah. Just need four for Ganon. And there's a pot coming up here in Circle of Pots. Oh look, you got an eight bomb drop off the Red Guard. Yep, just in case, gonna pick up that pot. That blue guard being a bit of a pest there for Andy. So, how many blue balls do you think Ga that Aga 1 will do? Let's just go with zero. Can we have a nice end to this race? I'm going to say three. I don't like a large blue ball count on them. It's one to 15. goes Aga. I missed it. Was there any blue balls? <laughs> uh, didn't feel like it. And Andy into his Ganon fight here. There's your two, your three slashes. There's your double spin. Setting up for the double spin and the slash. Nice phase one and into dash strats for phase two. And yep, there's your five dashes, your double spin, dash, dash, dash. And there you go. That is phase two. Yeah, phase three. This Once you get past the first two phases, this fight's basically a cinch. And meanwhile, on Dante's side, he's going to dash, but he's got butter, so he only needs six of these. He's got half magic, so he can just get can just go sit up in the corner too. And there is the fourth silver for Andy. He is just waiting across the bridge. Get your GGs in chat for Andy and Dante. Not far behind here. There is two silver arrows for him to start off this fight. Andy, though, finishing first overall with a 117.46. Dante coming in close behind with his fourth silver arrow, and he will be crossing the bridge momentarily. Yep. And with that, and, our Andy and Dante will take this game. Yep, and our Dante finishing with a 118.06. Uh, John and Vex did forfeit pretty much right after uh, the dot done from both of our runners from Pugs. So GG's to all of our runners today for this race. Yep, GG's to them. Also, and we are now joined by Dante and Andy. GG's, guys. Welcome, Welcome both of you guys. No, thanks. <laughs> GG's. GG's. So I, I can't say the seed had anything like some interesting locations with Graveyard Legend Pyramid, but overall pretty uh, straightforward for the most part. And we are also joined by Vex for GG. GG. I'm sorry I discarded my delay. GG. I, my, I closed out my Streamlabs and it crashed instead of asking me whether I wanted to discard it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I didn't get the choice. But yeah, this seed, like, it was pretty straightforward for all of you guys.
Yeah, I guess like one of the potential hiccups is kind of like, you know, hammer at graveyard ledge, but you know, with co-op, it's much easier to make a decision to go to go there. Yeah, it's co. I we went we when we were talking about it, what we did, we probably should. John should have followed me and done swamp after, and I should have just gone into ice instead of him going to ice with that swamp. So then I wouldn't have been in because we did pot eastern area like completely bootsless minus me at my eastern palace, right? Which mm. you could just you could just completely avoid all of pot eastern area completely like in being go mode, right? So. That's like the biggest difference, I think. You just don't have to do any of it without boots. Yeah, um... Dante did beat Pod without the boots, but then both you and uh, Dante and Vex, you guys both left to go back to Eastern with the boots after doing Pod. Yeah, I mean, did did they did Dante know where yes. the boots were at that time? Yeah, no. It, yeah. I mean, it makes sense. I think it's like a lot faster to do. It would, actually, it probably isn't. Except for the fact that Big Key was vanilla, and there's one hallway that I didn't want to walk through. <laughs> yeah, it, we were we were trying to figure out like if Is the leaving leaving Eastern and coming back later was worth the boots plus in Eastern, but who knows? It was yeah. quite the discussion in chat. Uh, there was quite a, a bit of back and forth about whether or not that was the faster play or not. So <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, I I can tell you that the the boots play is fun, more fun. So maybe 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 that's <laughs> what matters, right? But yeah, yeah I, I dipped I dipped death at desert early too, like right after Meyer shed, like without boots. So that kind of sucked too. I probably shouldn't have. I knowing that we were gonna get boots, it didn't really matter if it was boot slack because of the fire rod being where it was. Mm -hmm. But uh, lamp could have been anywhere. So I was like, all right, well, I guess I'll just dip it. I guess as far as me going to swap before ice, it was like I wanted the cane, but. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I, I didn't seem like that would be faster, but I guess so, considering you get to dash through swamp. So I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah, I that's mean, actually a good point. It might have been faster to for John to have done swamp with with boots. It's the same question as the Easter Ballast thing. Who knows? Yeah, like the uh, the thing is, is that the ice route you don't really need to do icebreaker side, so. Like, that's, what, that's the bomb point. jump in general is only about 20 seconds slower in a normal run, so... Were like, we looking for anything at that point? I, I think John... Because John went to the icebreaker side for something. I think he was looking for the big key for me to go through it faster. Like, whether or not I had to the switch, but... Uh, uh, we were a little curious why he was still checking stuff well, on that that's, side. That's definitely why he was doing it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It is, it is what it is. I mean, not like, yeah... And then thieves, I hate thieves town without boots. <laughs> it's just so long. It's not even that. I don't even know how much longer it is. It's just, it's just not as fun. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, John, because we we went and got the hammer right away. So I I actually was mid when when John found the hammer. I was mid, um, heading towards Smith. I think it was in dig game. And the and so I was like, all right, well, I'll just turn the smith in, grab the purple chest, and walk up and get the hammer, and then flute and turn in purple chest. I think I was like leaving Hype Cave to fake flipper to pyramid when Dante found hammer. Yeah, that was kind of when we swapped things up because I think what you were getting ready to do. I was gonna do uh, catfish. Um, yeah. Oh, so you guys didn't have to do catfish at all, huh? He no, I ended up. After. I did it later. I got it. Because yeah, he had to go get those flippers still, so he did flippers, catfish, and then all the Zora stuff because we hadn't done any of that yet. Um. And then I pulled Samaria from Swamp, and then Ether, and Boots from Ice, and I was like, "All right, well, Dante's like three dungeons behind now." So yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, the uh, I mean, the only thing we really didn't check between the two of us, you know, that wasn't in Go mode. I mean, I got the powder for Magic Bat which that was like right after Andy found boots. And then we had Hobo available and Spike Cave, I guess. And then there was that outlier of Hammer Pegs. But, um, you know, other than that, it became kind of we hit go mode before the other checks became relevant, like Mimic Cave, Pid and like Pyramid Fairy. Yeah, no, I mean, we did. We kind of skipped most of the same stuff, I think, just other than like that. I think there were the big decision was like 
So wait, when did you guys do Thieves Town? Dante did uh, it early. Yeah, uh, yeah, I did. I did Eastern early while Dante did Mountain. So I had to catch up with the eighteen thousand things that Dante got on Death Mountain. Yeah. yeah. Um. So he did Hammerless Thieves. Um. And I early. did Back of Escape before Dark World. So I got a shovel. So I went south instead of north. Which just so I, sent I, me I north. Just, yeah, I skipped all of Village of Outcasts except for the Ice Rod and just did like Smith Chain and South Dark World. So, okay, yeah. No, that makes sense. So, so cause, yeah, so, so Dante did Bootsless Thieves immediately with me. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And most times it seems like, you know, if you got a way to beat Thieves, if you don't have Hammer in co op, it's like, okay, I could do it now. If there's an item left, then. You know, I'm potentially screwed, but my partner will get it post hammer or something, and then we'll figure it out. So, yeah, no, I, I think I think the the biggest the biggest thing there was the uh, like when you do ice and swamp versus when your opponent does it, and it sounds like we just kind of John didn't even have Samaria when he did ice, right? I should have gone into ice instead of going up to pod. I wanted to turn green pendant in is actually the reason I did that. Mm, uh, I should have okay. stuck. I should have stuck with ice and then we probably would have been a lot closer to be honest. But, uh, cause, cause then I would have found go mode in ice palace instead of being walking through swamp or pod while Sean, while John was in ice palace without Samaria and finds boots. Right. So he got go mode in ice while I was in pod. Yeah. Where, Whereas I could have been in ice while he was in swamp, and then we would have been go. I would have found go right. So, that, which is basically what you guys did relative to what we did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Andy really enjoyed also uh, clearing Eastern and then getting Silvers directly after. That was yep. <laughs> <laughs> Made the most yeah, sense. Good. You had that glove. Why touch that? Huh? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, but, but yeah, yeah thanks I, for the restream, guys, and GGs uh, again. I guess we got another one in like three hours. So, yeah. Yep. yeah. Whenever Aaron decides to get off work. Yeah, 6, 10 p.m. is uh, this current schedule for game two. Uh, we've actually got a bunch of races still going on today in the Invitational League. I don't know if anything's going on in open, but what I can say is right now on SG5 uh, is Scottish Brave and Zen Arcane of Last Location Years versus Tabby Cat and Mr. Scruff Ninja Tuna of the Farm Friends. Coming up at 3.10 on Speed Gaming, right here on Speed Gaming 2, so right after this, Relkin and Humbug of to Infinity and Pagog versus Telethar and Ganon's Gone Wild of the Salt Miners. Uh, that's game two. Uh, that's about 30 minutes from now. Uh, 4.10, we've got a race coming up on Speed Gaming 5 as well. Zelga Dasan and Dr. Marty Zero of the Spoilers will be facing off against Don Veneer and Slumberjack of the Gone Pot. Then at 510 here on Speed Gaming 2, uh, Amish Paradise, Dapper Worm Man, and Zero Nix versus Chimo and Mystic of Leftovers Restocked. And then finally, 610 p.m., game two of these two teams, once again, Dan T and Andy versus John Snoo and Mr. Aaron Snurd. Uh, that'll be on Speed Gaming 5 once again, 610 p.m. So just flip flopping channels between here and Speed Gaming 5. The rest of the day, and you've got plenty of races for the Invitational League. But yeah, uh, big shout outs. Do make sure to follow our runners, Dante, Andy, John Snoo, and Vextifer. Um, also, big thanks to Captain 1977 and Relkin for handling the tracking today. Uh, Relkin, especially with that uh, step up at about the 20 minute mark or so, really was a huge help for Captain. Uh, Nira, it was a pleasure today to work with you. Yes, yeah, it was a pleasure to work with you too. I don't think we've done this before. <laughs> Maybe not. Not as comms anyway. I think we've tracked for the other though. <laughs> so yeah, have a great rest of your day, everybody. And as I said, uh, we'll be back here on Speed Gaming 2 in about 30 minutes. I don't think the channel's going to go down for too long. If it does, you will be seeing uh, stuff, though, very shortly. So thanks all, and have a great rest of your Sunday. See you all.